we arrived 25 years ago, this world that we'd never known before existed was there and we fell totally and completely in love with it. It was really just a project built on love. It started out as a family property and we realized that we were part of something that was a lot bigger than us. There's a much bigger picture at play, essentially. We wanted to recreate an ecosystem that could look after itself. This is about taking something that was hurt and that needed healing and restoring it back to what it once was. When a guest stays with us, they become part of something bigger and they contribute to conservation and they contribute to regenerating and rewilding this very special place. Our great vision is to drive biodiversity corridors, to try and put together a three million acre footprint which has Samara at its core. Samara has pioneered the reintroduction of the first lion, the first elephant, and the first cheetah in over a hundred years back into this region. All of those pieces of the ecological puzzle coming together again enable the landscape to flourish. Over time, we've managed to track cheetah on foot and to gain a, an insight into their world that you don't otherwise see from the game drive vehicle. Seeing these animals within a landscape where they haven't been for such a long time is also quite a sight. It's not just an elephant. It's an elephant that's pioneering, you know, a return. Masi babanye ye ye tu zonke. People are people through other people. When you come to Samara, it's like you're coming to peace. Where there's teamwork, because we are proud to be here at Samara. I enjoy sharing my knowledge with the guest, which they can also pass on to others. And it's also part of a process of inspiring people and you become a different person at the end. My rangers out there, they the custodians. They got to show the guests this is what we want to achieve. That species we got to protect. Even the guest kids, because they are the future conservationists and they want to be part of our journey going forward. Rewilding has to happen. They say up to 50% of the earth needs to be restored in order to halt runaway climate change and to prevent ecosystem collapse and biodiversity loss. It's really important for us to educate children, educate our guests about the importance of topsoil, the importance of speckworm. Without preserving the land, we're not going to be able to have the wildlife that historically occurred here. What we want for our guests is for them to see Samara through the eyes of the people that love her. There's just a magic to me. It's not so much the animals. It's the light, the way it hits the mountains. It's the stars, it's, it's those sorts of things. That's how we want people to feel. The urgency of the work that we're doing, how they can also be a part of the solution that we're not apart from nature, we're a part of nature. We are part of this ecosystem. Me and my rangers, my trackers, I've got such a huge passion for nature. And showing that, those children will go away from tomorrow with so much love for what they've doing and learn so much. I think they'll play a vital role going forward. Without the guests, we cannot do this. Without the people supporting our vision, we cannot do this. You must connect with your neighbors. 
every day, every moment you need each other. So I really hope that Samara's story of restoration and rewilding over the past 25 years can really inspire people. Positive change is possible, it's not all doom and gloom. When we work together we can actually achieve change and, and progress. To do things on your own is not nearly as powerful. We can have far more effect on the planet today by doing things together.